Hello everyone, welcome to Electronics Workshop. This is our fifth video in our IoT series. In this video, we will see how we can store the data from node MCU to cloud. Here, we have connected DST11 temperature and humidity sensor to node MCU and see how we can store that value in Think Script Cloud. Before doing this project, we must know about how we can connect node MCU to Wi Fi and connection of DST with node mcu i have already made video upon this topic so if you have not watched that video you will get the link in the description box if you are the beginner of node mcu i will suggest you to watch that video and come back to this video because in this video i am not going in detail about those things the components that are required for our project are node mcu dst11 temperature and humidity sensor jumper wires, breadboard and the connection diagram of our project looks similar to our previous project where we have connected first pin to high volt that is VIN of node MCO last pin to ground of node MCO second pin to any GPI pin of our node MCO here we have used D3 pin of our node MCO before going to the programming section we must install two very important libraries for doing this project. One is DST sensor library and another is ThinkSpeak library. We have already discussed in our previous video how we can install DST sensor library. So I am not going to explain it again. Now let us see how we can install ThinkSpeak library in our Arduino IDE. For that, open Arduino IDE. Go to Sketch, Include Library, and Manage Library. And search for ThinkSpeak in the search bar. You will get ThinkSpeak by Matbox. I have already installed this library, so it is showing installed over here. If you have not installed this library, then first of all, you must install this library. Now, we must set up a ThinkSpeak account first. For that, go to your browser and type thinkspeak.com. After you type thinkspeak.com, you will get this interface. And go to the login section. If you have not created a ThinkSpeak account, you can create a new account for free from here. I have already created my ThinkSpeak account, so I will log in with, my, with, with that account. We are going to create a new channel for this project. You can give any name of the channel like temperature and humidity monitoring. You can also add description for this project but I am going to leave it empty over here. In this field section, you must, you must declare everything that you are going to store in your ThinkSpeak cloud. In this project, we are going to store only the value of temperature and humidity so we will have two fields let us define our first field as temperature and our second field as humidity go down and go for safe channel Here we have created a channel temperature and humidity monitoring which has two fields temperature and humidity. In this first field we are going to show the data for temperature and in the second field we are going to show the data for humidity. Now let's go to the programming section. You can directly copy the code from my website and paste it in your Arduino IDE. Ctrl C and 
you just paste in your Arduino ID. Control V. These are the header file that you must include for using ESP8266, DST sensor, and ThinkScript Cloud. In this section, you must place the SSID of your network. And in this section, you must place the password of your network. This line means we have connected data pin of our DST sensor to pin number D3 of our node MCO. We can also connect our data pin to any GPIO pin of our node MCO. We have made one client variable because in this project, our node MCO serves as a client and ThinkSpeak serves as our server. In this section, you must place your channel number and in this section, you must place your API key. You can get your channel number and API key from your, web, from your ThinkSpeak account. Go to your ThinkSpeak account. You, you copy your channel ID from your and paste it over here similarly you can get your api keys from here there are two api keys one is for write and another another is for read we are going to store the value in our thinky speak form so we'll use write api key so copy your api key from here and paste it in your Arduino id over here You must place your own channel number and API key from your ThinkSpeak account. You cannot copy paste this, sim this channel number and API key as it is. Now, going to the setup section, these line of code are used for Wi Fi connectivity. And this line of code is used to print the IP address of your node MCU in your serial monitor. These two functions are used to run the DST library and ThinkSpeak library because we are going to use the some function of that library in our loop section. So first you must run this library. Coming to the loop section of our program, first of all we have dst.read humidity function. This function provides the exit humidity data and is stored in L. And this function dst.read temperature provides exit temperature data and which is stored in T variable. These two functions are used to print the value of temperature and humidity in our serial monitor. Once we get the value of temperature and humidity, we must store it in our ThinkSpeak Cloud. For that, function is thinkspeak.writefield. Our first argument is my channel number, which I have already described over here. Our second argument is field number. number. In our project, we have created two fields. Our first field is of temperature and our second field is of humidity. So, in our first field, we are going to pass the value of temperature, which is stored in T. So, we are writing T over here. And our last argument is write API key, which I have already described in this section. Coming to the second part, it is also similar to first part. In this section, we are going to the we are going to store the value of humidity. So we are passing the value of humidity in our second field because our second field is of humidity. Other 
thing are similar to the first part. Now we are going to upload the code and see the output. Once your code is uploaded, open your serial monitor. We are getting the value of temperature and humidity. Now we'll see that value is either uh, stored in our thing is cloud or not. You can see the variation in the graph which is updated in some seconds 